look fabulous. No surprise because you are the fashion queen. Well, thank you so much. So nice to hear. We're at the PCAs. Beverly Hills is nominated. Your whole cast is here. You just filmed the reunion. Is there anyone that you're like not looking forward to seeing or? No. I've been doing it long enough that you can see anyone and you can let bygones be bygones and be okay. Well, you got to tell us what went down at the reunion without giving too much away because we heard it was the strangest ending of any reunion ever. Yeah, it was. I definitely can't tell you what happened. Um, it was a first for sure. First ending ever like that. Um, yeah, I mean, if you, you know, if I give you a hint, you can do simple addition, yet it's not addition, it's subtraction, and that's how we end it. Oh, okay, Dory. You gotta tune in. We gotta tune in. Are you and Kyle gonna talk through some stuff at the reunion? Because you guys are super close, but I feel like in the last couple of episodes, you can sense a little bit of a drift. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Um, Kyle and I definitely have some conversations and, you know, it's necessary. And, you know, when you're close, it's inevitable that you have some highs and some lows. This year was strange, both, you know, independently for us and also as a, in our friendship, you know, collectively. So, um, yeah, it was inevitable. We had to have some, hash some things out. Because it must have been hard supporting her not knowing the full picture, right? That's always difficult. And, you know, when you care about somebody it's not about knowing all the details it's about really feeling like they know they can always lean on you and you want to also defend but when you don't have the full picture and you don't have a good understanding it's difficult but you know you have to wait for your friends to open up and feel comfortable and um, listen I think Kyle and I will always end up landing on our feet I love her I know she loves me I hate when we're not great I know she hates it too so yeah, you'll have to see. She has said, though, that she's thought about maybe taking a little bit of a break, especially after this past season. As a friend, do you think it could be a good move for her? I think whatever feels right um, is the right move for her. And I know that sounds cliche, but it's true. I think that we all have those moments, and, and I'm sure Kyle has said and felt that way before, but here she is. She's still around. Um, so I think you have to kind of, you know, have a little distance, and then you have a new perspective. And we'll see. We'll see. What about you and Garcelle? Because you guys had quite the season. Where do you stand with her today? Listen, I am always, always open to get past anything. I like Garcelle. Um, I've never saw us or felt us having an issue, so, but you need two people to feel that way. So my heart is always open to it, and it really depends on her. You have also been very vocal about missing Lisa Renna this past season. Is there a world where she comes back? Oh, don't I wish. Listen, I say that because I love Lisa, and I loved being on the show with her. Um, I always will. And, you know, if that's meant to be, then I will be welcoming her with open arms. That's all I can say. I love it. Before I let you go, how are you and PK? I know there was a lot of things in the press this past season, which could not have been easy for you. No, but no, it never is. It's Listen, it's never easy having some low points in your life, in your private life, and then, you know, it being out there for the world to have something to comment about. But um, thankfully, we're very good. Yeah, and it's um, it's been excellent, and, and I feel very positive about the future. Love it. Have so much fun tonight. Thank you.